Well, summer seems to have fallen on a Tuesday this year in the UK. It's a beautiful day and I'm on my way over to Sutton where we've got a fox cub that seems to have fallen down a small hole in the middle of a roundabout. Uh, unfortunately, the caller says it's been there about a week. Uh, they've been support feeding it, so it is still okay. But I'm on my way over there now. Hopefully we can get him out and get him back to the center for a checkup. So, I've just arrived on the scene. It's a tiny little roundabout for the look of it. But I'm just grabbing some kit. Hopefully it's not too deep. And let's go and get the little guy free. Despite several eyewitnesses having seen the young cub just minutes before, he seemed to have vanished when Laurie got to the scene. With no way for him to have escaped without help, Laurie had only one option, to jump into the hole himself. Well, I'll be honest, I did not expect to find a fox down here, especially set up in a tiny little hole. Let's get you out, fella, yeah? In a bid to seek shelter, the poor fox had burrowed his way into the walls of the hole, leaving just a head poking out. With very little room to work, and with no way of knowing if he was stuck in place, great care had to be taken to get him out. You've got to come out, my boy. Although useful when dealing with sharp teeth, thick gloves made working in such conditions much harder. Luckily, once the cub was secured, the sides of his tunnel could be gently pulled away before the cub was lifted to the temporary safety of one of our carriers. Right, so usually we try and make every effort to release them on scene, but unfortunately this little yard's been down here for a week, so we're just going to take him out, we'll get the vet team to check, and then hopefully we can attempt a, a bit of a better reunion this evening. I'm just going to check if there's any sign of dehydration. So far it seems to be quite bright, so that's a good thing. She's just very scared and very dusty, but that's it. Amazingly, the youngster seemed to have survived the ordeal remarkably unscathed, and after food, water and some fantastic detective work by Mike, one of our rescuers, he was successfully reunited with his family. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.